18. Jonathan Hussey. Don't know who he replaced him. Jonathan Hussey. He just had a bit of 10 cent on him. And the ball is thrown in. And Rob Burke feels it. Early possession trim playing against a very stiff breeze here in the first half. From right to left as we look at it. In there, red and white. Big strong challenge going in there. Rob struggled and he clashed heads with a man. That should be a the referee should stop the game here. <laughs> Call gun for Folias. Uh, challenged Rob Burke there and it was just an awkward the way he went in to Rob no malice about it but he looked like he got a nasty bang we're just seeing yeah it's a blood sub the blood sub here early on so we're just noticing a change here fall is number 18 Jonathan Hussey starts looks like for one of the corners uh, I'd imagine CJ is it and nine has gone in nine seems to be gone in wing forward, wing forward. and James Torres is, is kind of free maybe that's just the man down injured so we have a blood sub here early on for Folias. So Cahal Gunn is going off and it's number 19 CJ going in. James Quigley. Yeah, just a couple of observations. Um, Daryl Lynch is playing centre forward. Ian Birmingham is a wing forward. Uh, and we're one on one up front. Uh, Luke is marking danger man, Dermot Murta. Kieran Caulfield battling in the middle of the field and he's managed to force a turnover. And there's another Folia man down on the ground. <coughs> so Trimmer certainly very physical early on Decky Dowling pushed way up the field here hands the ball onto Ian Birmingham who's starting the place and suspended Dougie Sean Fitz going to get caught from behind if he doesn't look out pops the ball off to Ian and it's very tight very very tight here CJ early on it is very tight and the boys are well they're playing it nicely into space now for Oni Owen O'Connor finds a bit of, and he bursts through Owen takes a shot is he going to roll with right? it is the open score of the afternoon for Trim Owen O'Connor and as we were saying it was very very tight around the half forward line but Owen managed to break off the shoulder and was was uh, slipped in with a nice little hand pass and he finished nicely. Good score against the Breeze. Okay, one other observation. Decky Dowling seems to be out of wing back for us, and uh, Connor Quigley has gone into the full back line. <coughs> Ian Birmingham, Jean, uh, a judge, have fouled his man there when he was trying to pick up the ball. So it's Brian Murta here for Folias with a free inside his own half. Having a look, is he going to go long? Well, he goes a foot pass, not terribly long. It goes over Jared Duan's head, and the ball is flicked on here towards Dermot Murta, right down to the corner. Luke Moran standing him up. <coughs> Dermot goes in, that was left foot. Lovely looking ball off the left foot, but it's going to go wide. The tail's just off wide. So that man's looking he's going to shoot from anywhere, CJ. He is, but that was a little bit too uh, ambitious there. He's out towards the sideline, he's every confidence in himself, and into that wind you can afford to have a crack at. So once again, just to confirm, Conor Quigley's playing a cornerback, Luke is full-back and Gerard Wan is cornerback, Decky Dowling is out playing in a traditional left half-back position, and Kieran O'Rourke is right half-back. <coughs> so Peter with a first kick into the breeze, it hangs up there, Rob breaks it down to Rorke, Rorke has the ball stripped from him, but Sean Fitz picks it up. James Toher now a little bit of space. Solos had a little look. Wait for the runner. Jared Duan makes the run. Jared with his legs strapped heavily. Pucks the ball off to Owen O'Connor. Had to go down low to pick it up. James again, left footed. Nice looking ball in towards Mikey. He's going to bounce awkwardly. It, it bounces off Mikey's shoe, shoelaces. And it's Carl Nerney, the corner back. And Mikey fouled him. It looked like Mikey. Yeah, Mikey fouled and the referee had the hand out. Um, we've an experienced referee here today, CJ. We were just talking about beforehand. The referee, the Ulster final there a couple of weeks ago. Great. Martin, Martin McNally from. Monaghan. Well, I wish him luck. I hope he was better than the Leinster final ref, but um, if he's fair is all we require. <coughs> a high pass towards the middle of the James Horner gets a good fist on it. It breaks down. <coughs> Sean Fitz doesn't get it. And <coughs> it's Paddy Farrell now. And it's the number 19, James Quigley. The blood soap is on and <coughs> he got taken out after the ball there. But anyway, <coughs> Foyle just have the ball and they're happy to go sideways here rather than use that breeze to let the ball in. They're obviously waiting for the right ball. Rorke there trying to stand up his man, Michael Dunn. Rorke does well, but the 11 is have to get inside. Kieran Morta, a good tackle by Caulfield. Brilliant stuff, Kieran Caulfield. And James Sower picks up the pieces. And Rorke now steadies the ship. Has a little look around. There's a man closing down. He's been caught behind. That's Morta coming back to the full forward onto Rob Bork. That looked a bit high. That's going to be a free for Trim. It's the number nine. Sorry, it's Connell Canelli who's wearing number nine, but he's, he's gone inside to the forwards and the referee wasn't too happy with that challenge and he calls him over. No need for that, CJ. No, there wasn't, but the referee, it was a high challenge. Um, the trouble is, I hope he doesn't start dishing them out early, but it was a very high challenge at an early point and maybe the ref is laying down the marker. <coughs> James Hoare played the free short to Jared Duan, picks it up again, has a little look. Dara Lynch pops it off to Ian Birmingham. 
Trim, Trim ha trying to be patient here with the ball. <coughs> now Jared Dwan crosses halfway onto Decky. Uh, he's rookie outside if he needs him. Has a little look up. Kicks a nice ball into Aaron. Aaron's first possession. 45 metres out. <coughs> he's been shown the sideline by uh, Cox, the full back. And he gets inside him. And he has advantage. Ah! And the referee is gonna the referee is calling the fullback. Yes, CJ. He seemed to be very, very uh, picky early on, the ref. Well, th that could be the problem because we've a couple at the back that can be entitled to or inclined to do that a little bit as well. And you do, we know from the last day you do not want a couple of yellows here or a black because it leads you down. The ref should have let that play go on. Lynch, she was true. The hand up in the air was sufficient. And now... Uh, the second yellow. The second yellow. And that's Mikey Cox, who was the, who was the, uh, the hero in the Connell final with that late goal from full back and the free is right over on the right hand side of the ground and as we've seen many times this season James, it suits the left-footed kicker so James Toher has gone out there and he, the ball is on the 21-yard line but it's right over on the terrace side there and into a stiff breeze so it's going to be a tough kick uh, CJ yeah it's a Toher territory but it's into a stiff breeze he's, he's, he hits these lovely I just wish him luck with this one clips it beautifully and it's swinging in and the keeper was under a bit of pressure fists are clear Owen O'Connor trying to close it down and it's nicely picked up there is it and it's Brian Murta and great look at the, look at the pressure being put on by the swim forwards they nearly turned the ball over inside in the, in the square and the ball is <coughs> the cornerback slip Decky Dowling is up forward and the number four again coming out that's another Murta Adrian Murta there's four Murtas in the starting team here for Folias and they work the ball nicely now with Paddy Farrell Paddy Farrell plays the ball off and there's a man in the middle of space breaking forward here across the halfway line the referee is, has an advantage inside and it looked like Luke was pulling at his man yeah, that's the danger, and it is a 21-yard free. He, he he will be earmarking the full forward um, if he's been fouled, and I didn't see it, but it, it, it he probably was pulling them, and the ref gave that free. Luke is probably right to try and see would he get away with it, you know, and he, know, he knows now he can't get away with it. Yeah, well, the referee was very decisive there, CG. He had his hand up very, very early, so he obviously he obviously was looking at Maybe his umpires were, were, were working with him. But the free there. here, and it's a good score there, and it's the number 11, Kieran Murtha. Your fall is open and score. <coughs> you seem to be the fall at the end of the stand here, CJ. Well, that's okay. Um, I would, I would say um, I like the way Trimmer started. I mean, they're, they're not, they don't look too nervous on the ball, but um, playing into the wind every few minutes against this wind counts. Short kick out coming from Peter. James Thor picks up the ball. I forgot to time the game. <coughs> Dangerous look at ball, but Luke Moore and only fumbles it. It was one of those awkward ones, and now it's Dermot Murta on the ball. Looks for the layoff. Does lay it off to Kieran and Kieran Morta with a lovely score from play and a turnover from our kick out CJ results in a score for Fallis. Yeah, uh, James Torher won it very well, gave it back to Luke Bourne who just didn't seem to walk into the ball the way he should have and collect it and you cannot afford to give these forwards that kind of time, time because the, the kick out was perfect from Peter, it was won nicely by Torher but the second ball just didn't go our way so Peter will take his time again now at 2-1. 2-1 to Fallis, eight minutes gone. Peter goes over towards the sand side. The ball's got to hang in the breeze. Look at it hanging. It's a real awkward. And <coughs> great challenge by Quigley. But uh, the mark is taken by James Quigley, his namesake. <coughs> Pops the ball off to Jonathan Pussy. Pussy, make it hard. <coughs> and it's a nice ball. Lovely ball inside. But has Jerry Rand read that? Read it very well. Jared Dwan cut it out the ball. They tried to play a little ball inside Luke for Dermot Murta. Jared read it well. And what's going on here? The referee blew the whistle. Anyway, it was a free out. Anyway, Peter comes off his line. Peter wearing the short sleeves. He's having a feel of the cold. Decky in a bit of space here. Nice ball from Peter. Now decky has got Dara in front of him. Dara on to Sean Fitz. Break it from this. We've got to play against the breeze. We've got to be carrying that ball in. Sean has got his head up now. He's going to get bottled up. Steps by another man. Onto, onto Connor Quigley, who's bursting forward. Connor swivels away from one challenge. Goes back in. Tries to play the ball inside to Mikey Cullen. Mikey managed to get in front of his man. Lovely pick up from Mikey. Off the left foot. Is it turning in? It is. Is he going to make it? Yes. yes. That's an well. unbelievable score. <laughs> he chipped it up with his right. He went on to his weak and left side, which I, I, I look at, you know me at his left, but he cur curled it up into the air and it hung over. Trimmer keeping it nice and tidy, two each. Nice score from Mikey Cullen. A good break forward from Connor Quigley to set up that score. Kick out goes inside. Ian Birmingham might get it. Decky's there. Decky, a smaller man, but he fails the ball. Surely that was a free. Two trim men there. Can they win it? Ian Birmingham gets outdone by the number eight, David Rooney. And he wins it back. Great stuff. <coughs> and Dara picks it up. Dara gets checked, but he breaks through it. <coughs> and CJ is right. Trimmer starting this game very, very confidently. Rob Burke 
He gets blocked down. <coughs> and Paddy Farrell has the ball, and we have the, the man who went off. Carl Gunn is ready to resume, the man who got a, a, a injured early on. Blood sub. A little bit of space here now. The ball is played inside. Morton's gone free. If you can have a look at it, Luke, Luke does well. <coughs> Luke did well that time, CJ. He held his man up. He had to hold him, otherwise, if the ball got through, um, Dear Morton was clean through. Um, there, the linesman has his flag up here. There's going to be, um, you know, the blood sub is coming. Ah, yeah, maybe back. that's all it is. Yeah, he's just, he just, he's just making sure the, the, the sub leaves the field. Yeah, so <coughs> good to see Cahill Gunn back on the field. So Kieran Murta is now with his free on the 45. Distance won't be a problem with that breeze, and he's opting to take the ball like he did with the first one out of his hands. It's a good looking ball, but it's just tailing wide, and it is. So, a bit of a let off there for Trim. 12 minutes gone, two points apiece, not too bad from Trim. Very interesting the two kickouts. Peter's long one that came out there hung, hung, hung in the air and absolutely went nowhere, whereas their kick out is a mid little bit more uh, towards the middle of the field. So, the wind is the factor we thought it was. So, Petey <coughs> is milking every second out of this kick out. Rookie making a bit of movement here. Peter goes, drills it over to the sand side. <coughs> And under a bit of pressure, can't find Kieran Caulfield, and the ball's going over for sideline ball right over in the far side. <laughs> nice ball in towards uh, Dermot Murta. Luke's trying to show him the outside. Doesn't want to let him in, but he gets in by Luke. <coughs> Caulfield is back, Caulfield as well. <coughs> Put a man under pressure, and the ball drops short. And Peter was able to gather, and Rookie now comes out, and Kieran Caulfield now right back in the corner back position. Solos. Uh, does well, does lovely. On to Ian Birmingham, who was offering a bit of assistance. James Tower is there. We've got look at uh, Connor quickly at wide. He finds Connor with a nice foot pass. Well, Connor now the ball switched over to this side of the field. Aaron Lynch has come away out, leaving Mikey Cullen inside on his own. <laughs> They're trying to make a bit of a run here. On to Owen O'Connor. Owen does well. Juggles it. Pops it off to James Tower. James is going to find Mikey Cullen. Is he? He takes his man on. Surely that was a high challenge. Ah, uh, he's done James Tower for <coughs> simulating there for grabbing his man, uh, his man's arm, CJ. I think he was right, the referee. I think he just played into it. He should have given the ball left handed. He got it right, there's no question. Um, funny, there's a couple of uh, Roscommon men here beside me, and the, the dispossession we have, they, 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 they take their fouls every time. They're not, they don't come easy, those dispossessions. Kieran Murtha with a long ball <coughs> in towards there. Jared Wan all over his man. It's another free in, another free in. The referee has been very fussy here, CJ. It's a free in. Yeah, two lads there on, on that, um, I think it was the, the bigger man, number nine, Connell Kennelly, who is playing inside, and both Rorke and, and um, Jerry put their arms around him, and look at he gave the free. So Kieran Murta, who has got both Folia scores, so far with a relatively straightforward free, just maybe under 21 again, he kicks it. And he slots it over the bar and over the net. Interesting enough, CJ. There was a couple of there was a couple of lads behind the goals there. I think they were falling lads. They were jeering Peter every time he tried to kick the ball. I see some stewards have moved it, have moved the lads have moved the lads from behind I, I the goal. It's, it's very it's um it's very well organised here today. And um, no, rightly so. They've been moved from behind the, the goals. We at this level, you need no um, distraction whatsoever. Good kick out from Peter. Ah, lovely drill ball from Peter. The, all the he's up and it's a free in the back. Free in the back, yeah. I think Daryl got penalised there. I think Daryl had a hand in the back. So it's Brian Murta plays the ball in towards Dermot. Dermot out in front, takes his eye off the ball. He's not shining at the minute, CJ. No, he dropped a few short, and that was the simplest ball he was going to get. And Luke, lucky enough, got it um, off him. So a couple of mistakes by them that they may regret playing with this breeze. Decky plays the ball into Dara. Dara lays it off to Rob Burke. Rob, yeah, patiently back to Decky. We got, he's got Rookie in front of him, and he. Gives it to Rookie. Rookie has a little look up. Aaron was two men. There was a man closing the door there in front of Aaron's run. So he decided to hold on the ball and pop it off to Kieran. Kieran Caulfield comes inside on his left foot. Solos to Rob. Rob, that's too high, Rob. That's going to be it. But Mikey managed to make well, manage, make something out of it, and he does. He wins the sideline ball. No, it's after coming off Mikey's leg, and it's a, it's a sideline ball for Foyles. 3 2 to Foyles, who are playing with a stiff breeze. So Kieran Murtha is already taking on James Tohor. James drags him down. <coughs> That's a couple of fouls against James now. He'll have to mind himself. And the referee has penalised him now for not letting the man take the free quickly. And he's moved the ball forward. So he's moved it now into a scorable, a scorable position. 
Yeah, um, I said James has just made a couple of little mistakes there. He fouled when he shouldn't have, and that was an easy enough free. I don't think I'd have given it. Your man may have a go for this. I hope he actually does. Uh, he's 50 yards out exactly. Um, it'll take a minute or two to, to take it, so um, I hope he does kick it uh, and go along. Yeah, he missed one from here a few minutes ago. Out of the hand. He's a runner making a, making a break outside him there, but uh, he's going to take the score on. Big high ball with the breeze. Dangerous ball, but it's drifting wide again. Yeah, I, I, too far out, even with the wind. He should have been popping that ball. That's, that's a bonus for us now. That's a few bad whites that he's two. after kicking. Still remains 3-2. Kick out awful important here. There is no, um, there is 16, 17 minutes gone. There's 13 left. 3-2. This will be a low scoring game, I think, Rory. Yeah, and today is also the first day. There's no, uh, no water breaks either, CJ. The new rules, or the, the old rules, back in play again. So there'll be no water breaks. So we'll play straight through to half time. So Peter now take the time to kick out. Drills it over towards the terrace side again. It's hanging up and again. It's going to go over the sideline. We're going to really need to be working hard to win possession in those kickouts, CJ. Yeah, we might have to try one short. Here's a dangerous ball going in now. Luke slipped. They all, everyone's falling down here. Must be slipping over that side of the field. It's going to be a free out there. Rookie as well. Goes in bravely and gets fouled. Dangerous ball in behind there, but the man running in couldn't gather it. And Trim have managed to um, win possession here and. Rookie goes short to Peter with the with the free, and Peter hand passes on to Luke. Now we got to try and work it out. There's two men, three men closing on Luke. He's in trouble here. He's oh, I don't know how he managed to get that ball out, but it ended up in Rob Burke's hands, and onto onto Jared Dwan. Jared turns back inside, does the wise thing. Decky Dowling making a bit of a run for Jared. If he looks up it again, this time he does. Great run by Deck. Decky carries the ball up to the halfway, pops it off to Dara. Dara getting on some nice ball here in the middle of the ground. Has a little look at what he find his brother. You know he goes for Mikey, left footed ball over towards the far side. Mikey has a half yard on his man. It's a tricky ball. Mikey tries to play a bit of soccer and he manages to kick the ball. He kicks the ball off the cornerback's legs and it's going to be a line ball for Trim. And Mikey's there at the ball in his hands. He's looking for a runners and Ian makes a nice bit of a run. Can he even get there in front of his man? Oh, was he fouled from behind? He was. Well done, Ian. Perfect, absolutely perfect at this stage. I think I'd take Toher up and slot this over with the left foot. Very interestingly, when Trim attacked, they have. Um, Foilers have uh, Paddy Farrell, number five, dropping back in front of Mikey Cox, the fullback, to cover Aaron Lynch. But very wisely there, um, Dara Lynch gave a lovely left football over towards Mikey. The wind is probably blowing towards that terrace side as well. There's a lot of yeah. balls. I think there's been one sideline from this side and about four from the far side. And a bit of descent there by the corner back, and the referee moved the ball in, improved Aaron Lynch's angle here, so Aaron should slot this. He's right in front of the posts. And Aaron slots it over for his first score of the afternoon. Trim's third, so we're three points apiece. 18 minutes gone, first half. His instructions coming in from Kevin Riley to Connor Quigley. He's looking for a swap here. Connor, he's been stopped to swap with. So Decky is going back into the corner back now, and Connor Quigley moving to wing, back to his wing back position. They, they obviously have our ear marking, man marking jobs, so uh, whatever man they had pencil in for Connor has come back out the field. So another trim ball coming up here, and there is now. Uh, 11 minutes left in the first half. Another short line ball go, finds Mikey Cullen. He's right over on the sideline. He's going to take his man on. He's going to test him anyway. He's running right towards the corner. Lynch is trying to make a bit of a loop run outside. Mikey gets inside, draws the foul. Mikey, Mikey. Mikey is still going. And he gets another foul onto Aaron Lynch. Uh, that's all right. That's okay. So the trim had possession, but the referee obviously decided that. Uh, Either team, he's given the free for any tug at all. Yeah, so it's another free over that sideline, and James Toher is going over. He, the, the last one he took from this side, CJ, hung in the air into that breeze and the keeper hurt the scramble on the line so hopefully he'll have learned from that now and give it a bit more juice. This one's a little bit closer though, Rory. Yeah. It is. It's ten, ten, 10 more metres in than it was from the sideline. It's still not an easy free. That wind will hang it up and the way James likes to curl them in, it needs to go high. So um, It's a tricky one for him but again, with 10 minutes left in the first half, three each is a great score for Trim if they can keep this up. James gives that one a bit of welly, but he misses on the near side, does he? No, it's gone over. So, Trim's fourth point of the afternoon, James is first. So the referee having a little word here with a couple of players running back the field. I'm not quite sure what that was about. James Soher is pushing forward here on the spare man for the kick out. I'd prefer to see him get back maybe against the breeze. The ball goes over towards Rob Burke, goes over his head and it's broken. The scramble, Foyles pick it up. And they work the ball through the middle, and a good challenge, Moni O'Connor. What a hit! 
What a hit from Owen. Turns the ball over. Rob picks it up. He's going to... Don't lose it, Rob. Don't lose it. Get managed to get the hand pass out to James Tower. Now there's a little bit of space. James floats it up towards Aaron. Aaron should gather this. Now, can he take his man on? <coughs> Aaron surges inside on his right foot, and that's going to drop short. The keeper's going to gather that one, and he does. But Mikey's in, putting the keeper in a bit of pressure. But... Yeah, Aaron had his man bent on the inside, CJ. Maybe he could have taken another couple of yards. Taken another step, another dispossession from Oni Connor, his third of the game. Four dispossessions for Trim. <laughs> Surely that man played the ball on the ground. Now the referee is probably going to throw it up. Yeah, in fairness, he couldn't really do anything about it. It did hit his arm on the ground, but the referee is going to throw it up. So Rob Burke steps in for the throw ball. No, <laughs> the ball hits the ground, and there's a Trim man there on it, and he's given a free out. I don't know what the trim man is supposed to do. Anyway, here we go. The ball is played into the forwards. Connor Quigley now is picking up um, Kieran, sorry, Brian Murta. Now, Michael Dunn. And that's another poor shot. Goes in. Peter comes off his line decisively and gathers the ball well. Onto Ian Birmingham. And Ian does the right thing. Plays the ball the way he's facing. And the ball now goes on to Sean Fitz, who has to step in bravely to win it. And he does. Trimmer playing with a lovely uh, pace about them, CJ. Perfect. Everything going so, so far so good. I like the way we're playing. There's no nervousness. It's, it's all going nicely at the minute. Now, Sean Fitz carries the ball into space. The man that Paddy Farrell, the sweeper, comes to meet him. He pops on to Aaron Lynch. Aaron gets fouled, surely. Riles his man. Turns in one onto his left foot and he gets pulled down well done Aaron yes very very smart play from Aaron Lynch there CJ yeah he had to do that he couldn't he knew from the previous shot selection that he couldn't kick from there so he took it on again and foolishly they fouled him and this will be a free that he likes uh, with uh, four points to three there is um, seven and a half minutes left in the first half so every time the trim forwards are taking on their men, they're drawing the foul, CJ. Mikey and uh, Aaron now have been fouled a couple of times. I think, I think we have to measure these backs. I, I, I hate to be so, so optimistic about the trim performance at this, this stage, but you can't see that uh, things are not going their way so far. And that's just an indication of how tricky the breeze is. Like, you put your house on Aaron slot in that one. And he miscued it, but it was deflected out, and it's going to be a 45 and I'm not sure, is Aaron going out to take it? He is, but uh, I wouldn't say he have the range in that, that breeze. Well, he won't be going for this one. Um, and instead, James Torres, and he's taking some time out of the clock going down as well. Normally, Lynchy would slot that with his ease, um, but that wind is obviously a factor when you're kicking into it. So, um, again, four points to three with um, about six and a half minutes to go. So James <coughs> has come up. Will there be runs looking for the short one, or will James take this on? Anyway, he's taking his time, he's doing the right thing, he's slowing the clock down nicely. He plays it, doesn't find the range. Aaron tries to put a challenge in, he fouls, pulls back the man, the number four, Adrian Murta, and it's going to be a free out. But that's okay. It's safe to have the ball so far away from the trim goal, and he hoops a long ball. Can James Toro win it? It's going to go over James, Luke is there, and another free. Yeah. So Dermot Murta this time has come out way out the field, plays a good ball in towards Kieran. Jerry got inside him, the referee now played to continue. And who's that? Luke goes back and picks the ball up. Rookie is there, plays it back to James Tower. He's got Ian Birmingham here showing for him on the sideline, but he's got a couple of. Uh, he draws the, the tackle, pops it off to Ian Birmingham, and Ian does very well, knocks it on to Jerry Duan. And now <coughs> the referee is not happy with it. words that have come from the banished door, the, the fatal banished door. <coughs> and he's come over to have a word with him. <coughs> and it's getting a bit heated behind the pitch and a yellow card for the fate lot banished door and I think Trim have these guys rattled CJ we certainly have but um, I wouldn't like to see it disrupted into any it's going fine for us I wouldn't no need to uh, get involved in RG Bargy um, the, uh, Jerry I think we were maybe a little bit fortuitous that we didn't concede a free there but we, we you know you've got to take it both ways Trim were in possession there when he blew that whistle and it, is he going to draw um, is he going to throw it in now? No, he's calling Dermot. He's calling Dermot Murta to him. He'll call it. He'll call a trim man as well. Sean Fitz has been called to him, so probably going to be two yellows here. Um, yeah, we have to keep an eye on the yellows. We we didn't get one yet. There is there is two for. Uh, uh, yeah, yellow each for um, for Sean Fitzgerald and Dermot Murta. But most importantly, Trim have the ball. Trim have retained possession. Kieran O'Rourke. Three, four men runs into a bit of tack uh, tackle, pops it off to James Tower. James, lovely left footed ball to Lynchy. Now Lynchy's got a runner, knocks it off to Owen O'Connor. Can Owen break through? He gets it out of Adrian Murta. He's bearing down on the goals. Mikey's inside him. His jersey gets pulled. Um, it's going to be a free in. It's going to be a free in, and it should be a yellow. And it should be a yellow card. 
Maybe a black. What number was that? Three. It was number four. It was number four. Their whole full back line is both. Yeah. And number no. six. No, number six now is he? No, he only got he only got I'm ticked. The whole full back no, two hasn't got booked yet. But uh, yeah, lovely, a little, little flick, a lovely little flick from Aaron yeah, there. I, do, I nearly would have taken it on myself, but he flicked it on. It just didn't come quite off, but he ended up with the end product was very good. Uh, only carried it in, had a shot, was pulled back, and this is the one that Lynch. Uh, it's uh, it's it's an easier position than the last one. He's and he's going out of his, his he's going out of his hand as well, CJ. Yeah, yeah. And Lynch he slots it for his second. So trim five points to three. Would, Four, four or five minutes to go to half time, CJ, against a stiff breeze. We would have taken that from the start. We certainly would. Um, I, I like the way, if I'd liked it from the second minute of this game, the way Trem has settled in. They've settled in so well. So um, just fingers crossed, things will keep going our way. Kick out over to the other side of the field. Sean Fitz underneath, he gets a hand on it, but doesn't win it. It's Carl Gunn wins it. Plays the ball off. Keneally has come out now. He was playing in the forwards early on and changed things up. Decky has to win this ball. Oh, he was over him. Jared in behind. And now they have a man over. Decky's going to take it. Decky does well. Powers him up, the referee has an advantage, let the advantage go, and the referee, he's blowing the whistle, he's blowing the whistle, and that's a couple of times the referee's done that CJ, I think he should have let the play go there. He should have, but then I, I think we stopped a little bit too, but um, I, I hope he just doesn't give a black card to anybody, that's the only thing. Um, it, it, Decky Dowling came to the very right position to win the win the ball. It just the wind deceived him and, and uh, it yeah, went man, over his head. Their yeah, manager was very unhappy. I'd say he was born unhappy by the look. <laughs> and Dermot Murta has taken over the freeze. Maybe he's just to give himself a little shot in the arm. He's been playing quite poorly, so he slapped over an easy one to get himself on the scoreboard. Five points to four, coming up to half time. Trim got away a little bit there, CJ, without conceding bit, I, the point. Yeah, I was hoping that we wouldn't concede a goal, and we didn't. But um, just from a position of authority now, we're just one point ahead, but still in a nice position. Peter's kick out. You can see, like for, if you, obviously, the red CV guys are not here, but the wind is a factor in this game. He's going over this side now, the kick out. That's a better looking ball, but the foil, you have the numbers there with the ball. Breaks and quickly picks up the pieces. Has a look. Direct ball in towards Lynchy. Great ball. Lynchy pops it off to Owen Connor. Owen has Mikey Cullen inside, but he's going to take it on himself. No, he gives it to Mikey. Mikey comes inside. Is he fouled? No. Play on. And Mikey tries to find Rocky. And Keneally has come back and won possession. And now Ian Birmingham, Ian Birmingham has got to cover back. So it's all happening all over the ground here. So Caulfield is trying to bottle up his man and the referee is found, penalised and giving away the free very, very easily. Anyway, it is a free for fall. It's over the far side. Coming to half time, five points to four to trim. 27 and a half. First half, 27 and a half gone. I've been reliably informed from my right hand side here. Good ball in. Dermot Morton now with a bit of a pep in him step. Plays a nice ball inside. Goes to the return. He's out. Yeah, and he draws the dummy. And now his ball's played into it. So Morton's burned down on the goals. He tries the ball off and it's going to be a block. It's a free in. It's going to be a penalty. The referee was playing an advantage there. There was a man was penalised. Dermot Morta popped the ball off, and then there was a, the referee had his hand up for playing an advantage. He let the play go on. Decky Dowling blocked down the resulting shot. I think the referee is just checking if whatever foul he was given is inside or outside the box. CJ, it's a foul for sure. To be, I think it's a penalty, but it's not. He's given a free, and Trim getting off another break there for Trim. Very lucky now because they were right through. I know we blocked the end product, but there was a foul, and thankfully it wasn't inside the small square. And um, so it's a top over free that'll leave it five apiece. So Kieran Murta, I think I think Foyles have only scored one point from play, CJ. I think most of their scores have been placed balls. Exactly, free. yeah, they're all frees. Very interesting. Though our three full forward line are doing really, really well once the ball goes in. They, they have the beating of those men, and hopefully in the second half it'll just come slightly easier to them. So Peter now <coughs> the kick out. So it's five points apiece. The linesman has just given the instruction to the forward, the sideline official here for having the extra time. We're going to find out in many, many additional minutes. <coughs> but Darren Nerney has won the ball there, and it's out in the far sideline now. And all of a sudden, Foyles have got themselves got a tail up. But Kieran Caulfield gets a great challenge here, and knocks the ball away from his man, but he manages to pick it up at the second attempt onto D Dermot Murta. Dermot drops the shoulder and gets inside Luke a bit easy. And he's still going. Luke gets back and the referee is penalised Luke right in front of him. And the referee has the notebook out. Is he going to book him or is he just going to give him a little tick in here, I wonder? No, he's calling them over. Yeah, 
and the referee has given Lukey a yellow. So he'll have to watch himself. I his man got by him I fairly easy there. Did, he did. I think we should put Jerry Dwan in on, on Dear Mid Murta. Um, and because Luke can afford, cannot afford another mistake in the yellow front. Um, so I, I, I would be inclined to do that, but obviously we're not getting paid for those decisions. Two additional minutes to be played at the end of the first half. It's another free for Fallias. Kieran Murta favours the right footer. He goes for the high option again and swings it in and it looks like it's gone over. Is it? No, it's gone wide. I have a, I have a big thing, CJ, about free takers out of the hand, kicking the ball so high. There's absolutely no need for it. The ball goes over, the, drops over the crossbar. It just counts as much as, as hitting it out of the clouds. Sure, but that looks to be his style. But um, he's missed a few for us, thank God. He now is up to uh, three wides. Yeah. Um, and, and they all have been very, very scorable frees. So um, if you take the frees out of this, you know, Trimmer looked the better side. PD chips a nice ball towards James Tohor. James wins it. He gets fouled. Surely he does. Well done, James. Caught, caught a bit of it. Caught a bit of it. Chip. We're into it. the first of two minutes of additional time. James got a bit of a bang in his head here. I say he'd be all right. He's doing the right thing. He's just running down the clock a little bit. And I see the uh, the terraces have, have refilled behind Peter's goal there. <laughs> just coming to half time. The Stewarts obviously lost their battle. I think they're harmless enough now, to be honest. Just interesting, I would think um, Daryl Lynch is probably not in the match for a centre half forward the way maybe we would have Dougie in it. And Kieran Caulfield, now he's going for it now, but his defensive work is great, but we need him a bit more in the attack. Here he's at it now. Takes his man on, <coughs> burns him down the outside, Kieran, solo one. And he's going to Jenkins, cut inside onto his left foot, pops the ball off to Connor Quigley. Connor solos, he's got James Sower looking for it, gives it to James in that central position. I wonder if James Sower at centre forward is an option, uh, CJ. Um, anyway, on to Sean Fitz. He's got Rob Burke ahead of him, but he plays the ball off to Connor again, who stayed forward with this attack. Onto Rob, and now he finds Decky, you burst in the back. Now he's going to lay it off, he does. Onto Mikey. Mikey has three men around him. Look at the defensive work by Fallias. And the hand pass was a bit sloppy, and it breaks the ground, but Owen O'Connor picks it up. <coughs> Turns one way. Look at Aaron Lynch, is 45 metres out in the goal. Only has a little look and finds him. <coughs> Aaron, is he going to look for Mikey Cullen inside? He, he's looking at it, surveying his options. Turns back inside and pops the ball back to Jerry Duan. This could be the last play of the first half. I'd imagine the clock is running right down. So Connor Quigley has the ball. Let's try and get a shot away, lads, before the half time whistle. Decky Dowling. Soling now. On towards James Tohor. James goes onto his left foot. Can he draw the foul? That's good block. And the ball breaks on the ground, and there's four men around him. And the referee does blow the half time whistle. So we finish here in a very close 